Hey guys, I wanted to take a few minutes and show you an option that you have for your resource notebook. Um, you are more than welcome to complete your resource notebook in a real notebook with paper and dividers, but I wanted to give you guys this option to do it using um, Google Drive, which is a digital resource. Now, there's a lot of benefits to doing this. Um, one is that you don't have to carry around a ton of paper or worry about losing anything because you can upload your work as soon as you finish each piece right onto this drive. Um, another cool thing is that you can share it with me at any time. So if you want to share your work with me and just say, hey, am I on the right track? You can simply share a link with me and I can look at your work as you do it and give you feedback. Um, this also goes for when you're completed with this at the end of the semester. You do not have to show up to campus and drop off your notebook or pick it up after I grade it because you can just give me the link and I can grade it based on that. Um, furthermore, when you go to apply for jobs, you can share this link with um, possible employers to demonstrate your ability to observe and assess children in a developmentally appropriate way and actually show them what you can do. So um, I love this. Um, you might say, well, I don't want to type everything. Well, you, you don't have to. You can upload things on the Google Drive. Um, say your anecdotal records, maybe you already um, wrote them out and have color coded, started color coding them. Um, you can easily um, scan those um, to be digital and upload them. So we have a scanner in the CHD lab at the Portsmouth campus. Um, we also, there is a ton of free scanner apps using your phone if you have a smartphone. So there's just a lot, and there's also a scanner in the, in any campus library. So a lot of ways you can do it. Okay, so if you go into our class, um, if you click on announce, or I'm sorry, assignments, you will see um, a list of different assignments. And one of the things is resource notebook. So it gives you the overview, grading rubric, and so forth. So if I have opened the um, resource notebook overview. Um, this tells you what should be in your notebook. So you will have a total of eight sections, one section of forms, such as your initial verification, your setting observation, your, your um, time logs, your parent consent form, all of that. Then you will have um, six different sections, one for each developmental domain, so physical, cognitive, social, so forth. Um, and then within each of those domains, you will have five anecdotal records, one checklist, one structured observation, three visual documentations, and a summary report. And then finally, you will have your background information of your parent questionnaire. All right, so this is what we want to create organization for right now. So um, your Google Drive is super easy to access. You simply log on to my TCC. And let me see if I can widen this. So you go to my TCC and you click on your email account, which is Gmail. So your student email account is actually a Google account. Google is awesome. Um, there are several different tools that you have. Um, instead of just email, you have all kinds of stuff you can use. So if you look up to the top right of your email, you're going to see a bunch of um, little tiles here. Those are your apps. You're going to click right. You have a YouTube channel too, by the way. If you look down here, you have your own channel. Um, you click on Drive. Now, mine has got a ton of stuff in it because I use Drive all the time. This is basically like a flash drive, except it's online, it's web based, so you can use it anywhere you have internet. So you can open it at home, you can open it at school, and you will access the same stuff. Um, so I, let me remove this because I just did this and it didn't work very well. All right, so to your left, you are going to see a list of things. Um, we want to have a folder. So I'm going to click new folder and I'm going to call it resource notebook Jeannie Hopkins because if I share this with somebody, I want them to know whose it is. All right, now you see resource notebook. So we're going to click in there. And it's empty. So we want to go ahead and start organizing this based on um, the organization that I gave you. So you're going to put folders in here. You're going to go section A, um, forms. 
Now you have a folder there. Then you're going to do another one. Section B, physical. Section C, I don't even remember what that is. It is not that document. Cognitive. Okay, so I'm not going to do each of these. I'm just going to show you. All right, in each of these, you have several things you have to do. So for, let's say, physical, there's nothing in physical. Well, I know I'm going to have several anecdotal records, so I want a folder to put all those in. So I'm going to say anecdotal records, physical. Now, you can do a couple things here. You can, let's say you already printed them out, you already wrote on them, you already color coded them. That's cool. You can just go in here and then you can scan it and then upload it right from your computer. So I can go to new, file upload, and this is my um, flash drive. So we're just going to pretend that my anecdotal record is here. So it's uploading and there is my anecdotal record on here. So this is just a blank one, but obviously if you upload it, it's going to be, you know, a completed one. Or what you can do is you can upload it and then type it out on there, however you like to do it. Um, and then so you can just do a lot of scanning and putting it on here. Um, this is really easy to share and so forth. So there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Now, check this out. Now I've got my folder here. Let's say I want to turn it in or share it. Or let's say I'm going to go um, apply for a job. So I'm trying to spice up my resume and make myself look awesome. All right, so here's my qualifications. Here's my education. This is just an example. I would go right below um, community college, which for you it would be tied order. I would tap in and say um, observation and assessment notebook. I'd say 60 hours in field. All right. So I'm going to go here, resource notebook. I'm going to right click and I want to get a shareable link. All right. So down here, I don't know why I can't see it very well. Um, let me try that again. Right click, shareable link. It's going to say link sharing off. We're going to switch it to on. And notice it says anyone at Virginia Community College can, can view. So we want to change that because um, we want anybody to be able to view this. So I'm going to go back up here and just click on share. So forget about the share link. So share with others. We want to change this right here. We want um more and we want to say on anyone with a link so this way only people with the link can see this but you can see there's a lot of different options here um right here it's set for can view um but you can set it to add or edit like if you want me to be able to type on it whatnot whatever works and then you're going to save and now it's saying anyone with the link can view so i'm going to copy that link right there I'm going to go back to my resume and I am going to that sucker right in there. There's my link. Or if I really want to be fancy, I can just right click here. Check this out. And then I'm going to hyperlink it. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to say link. I'm going to add that address right in. I just took boom. And then I can take out all this ugly mess. So now, watch this. I'm going to close my Google Drive. Okay, so watch. Closing that. Closing that. Don't have anything open now. I'm just going to go back to my resume, and I just made a really cool link. So now all I have to do is push Control and click if I'm a director. And boom, it's going to take me right to your work watch this update your browser <laughs> well i guess it would um take you to it um <laughs> you gotta love um live stuff 
Um, so anyways, it will take you right through it if you don't have a brand new computer that needs to be updated. Um, so anyways, you get the point. So that is how to do um, the Google Drive. You can basically Google anything. You can Google how to whatever you're trying to do on Google Drive and it'll show you. Um, but I just think this is an awesome opportunity I wanted to share it with you guys and hopefully it'll help you. And if you have any questions, just let me know. You can call me, email me, text me, pop in my office, um, and I'm glad to help you. All right. Take care.